Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Hannity special, Trump versus the left. Now, as we mourn the nine American victims tragically murdered in Mexico, several media outlets, including the New York Times, the Associated Press and the L.A. Times, wrote questionable articles this week that appear to blame the victims. Meanwhile, 2020 candidate Bernie Sanders has unveiled his radical immigration plan to halt deportations, abolish ICE, welcome 50,000 climate migrants, and give welfare to everybody. And as desperate Dems continue to obsess over Trump's impeachment, six House Republicans wrote an op-ed calling them out for ignoring the continuing border crisis. Joining us now for reaction, Trump 2020 advisory board member Jenna Ellis and House Judiciary Committee member Tom McClintock. Uh, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining me tonight. Thanks Great to see you, Tammy. You, you know, this uh, it, shocking news, obviously, an extraordinary mass murder of women and children. The details are too horrible to deliver, but really a torturous experience for these Americans, dual citizens, Mexican and American citizens, uh, by, we believe, a drug cartel. I, obviously, we don't have the complete story yet. And yet the media, uh, interestingly, whitewashed that. The, the story for them was... The history of this particular group of Mormons uh, uh, who had splintered off and moved to Mexico, as opposed to the shocking nature of what it would mean for the cartels to implement this against uh, women and children at all. Um, uh, Jeno, isn't this really the story? Isn't the story the chaos and the nature of what is happening in Mexico at this point, uh, as opposed to uh, you know what was happening 50 or 100 years ago uh, with the uh, you know, descendants or the family of, uh, of, of these people who were murdered? Absolutely, Tammy. And, you know, this is such a horrific story, and it's just the next in line of why border control and immigration policy is so important to President Trump and to the administration. And the Democrats, by proposing all of these preposterous things uh, that are basically open borders and are just political opportunism, we have to understand the difference here from a 30,000-foot perspective of what the Democrats are actually suggesting. Because, see, they don't look at the United States government as a intentionally well-designed and functioning system. They just look at all of these uh, political things as independent parts. And so when they isolate each part and policy issue from the system, then it ceases functionality. And really, that's their goal. They want to tear down the American system of government, take it it's out of its original purpose and design for political opportunism. So rather than doing their job of Congress, promoting the general welfare, making sure to ensure domestic tranquility, and actually looking at why immigration was given as a subject matter to Congress to make sure to mm -hmm. protect and preserve the rights that God gives us, as President yeah. Trump always describes, that cannot be taken away, they are now advocating for policy that is completely antithetical to the yeah. design and functionality of our system. Well, R Representative McClintock, I mean, what we're seeing here is literally undeniable and yet they're denying it they're like on, in an alternative universe here isn't this really though about kind of bringing America down a peg or two is is ignoring that violence is because it's inconvenient for their narrative that we're the problem what's your take on this overall well if you want to know where all of these democratic open border policies and sanctuary laws leads come to California uh, just three days ago, I attended the funeral of El Dorado County Sheriff's Deputy Brian Ishmael. The animals who were arrested for gunning him down in cold blood as he responded to a bogus burglary call uh, are uh, illegal aliens from Mexico uh, working for the cartels. He is the fourth law enforcement official in my immediate region here to be murdered by illegal aliens over the past five years. Uh, that's where these policies are, are leading. The violence that we are seeing in Mexico, we need to understand, is already here in our country, in our communities, on our streets, hunting down our law enforcement officials because we let it in. Now, and I, I, that's a question Americans have got to confront very clearly yes. in this upcoming election well, because it, that's it, what's at stake. Let, uh, we, we know that President Trump was elected in large part because of this reality hitting home uh, during the campaign with the murder of Kate Steinle and Americans realizing that, that Donald Trump was a man who was going to speak the truth and be honest and be transparent no matter what, what happened. We've got the families ex as an example. Uh, more the victims, those uh, uh, murdered women and children, saying that um, uh, it's like Afghanistan 100 miles from the U.S. border. To give you perspective, 
Um, uh, Mexico had 23,000 murders. I think, was this 2017 or 16? 2016, 23,000 murders in Mexico. Same year, 16,000 in Afghanistan. So if you're thinking about you know, what we think of Afghanistan and the danger that's there, consider those numbers as an example uh, when it comes to uh, what media ignores, what is just before that border, and not just danger for Americans, Jenna, but for, yes, uh, the migrants that we've talked about going through the, the, the caravan, uh, the migrants who get here, uh, when we release people and ICE does not take them, they're going right back into the immigrant community, rapists, murderers, uh, you know, the robbers, right? the, the criminal element who've been charged with crimes aren't going into some other community. They're going right back in to the immigrant community to, to victimize those people. How can you how can do you think the uh, Democrats can defend that kind of action? It's it, they can't. And that's what is just absolutely shocking about their position is that they aren't seeing the nature and the necessity of legal immigration pathways and why we have, for example, asylum that you have to qualify for and right. why we don't have loopholes, why we have uh, certain policies and why immigration needs to be reformed. And it's not because President Trump is anti-immigration. It's because everyone well, in this country should be for legal immigration and to make sure that we're protecting uh, the people in our country. Right. And we're protecting our border from all of the, I mean, there's horrific, you know, right, sex Jenna. trafficking that's going on, all of that. Yeah. We have to make sure and this is, that we I, have cohesive I, I policy. I think it is indefensible because, again, the people that are, are benefiting first from enforcement and from removing criminal illegal aliens is the migrant community. All right. Those are the people who are being victimized by democratic policies. Both of you, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I